hello friends in this video today we are going to discuss about online charging system in details along with in this video we will discuss how online charging system work internally when the user send any request via their cell phone okay so uh, before we are going to start online charging system uh, there is a some prerequisite that we must have to see and understand so i would like to start from the architectures of online charging system whereby you can easily understand and this diagram will very helpful to understand how online charging system actually work and look like okay so uh, i hope you are able to see architectures of online charging system diagram on the screen okay so this is the structure and the architectures of online charging system diagram which is consist of a different and multiple nodes connected to each other so what is nodes here n o d e s nodes you can see like a, a rectangular in shape and a square in shape and oval in shape diagram like uh, this one and uh, this one and this one and so on these are all called nodes each and every nodes have different functionality different operation and different task assigned in it which are performed when they have been request for by user to perform a particular task okay so in this video we are going to discuss all the nodes as well that will be very helpful to understand how online charging systems work internally okay so let's start from here now i am on running prerequisite we must have to understand first of all what is telecom domain and telecom billing before we are going to discuss about online charging system so uh, what is billing means here it is a very easiest term and easiest word in your day to day life when you are going to buy any product from a market or supermarket as well so what happened there when you are going to buy any product and get back to the cashier count counter the cashier create a billing system for you what types of product you have along with okay so billing is very significant to determine what types of charges must have to apply on you on the base of product that are using and that that are you have take okay so in a telecom company those provide the services for you like a uh, internet like a voice data that means internet sms mms fax video voip etc and tv okay so these all are services provided by a telecom company for you and they take a charge for that okay so technically the definitions of telecom billing is telecom billing is the word telecom is a process which apply a rental charge charge that means a money in a simple terms rental charge and generate the invoice for customer okay invoice that means a receipt where all the details and charge of product are printed and they hand over to you so this is called invoice and the billing is it is a system in a computer and a software where all the charge are applied as per they have a set for the product okay that is called a billing so telecom billing apply a rental charge for their services what types of services you are 
going to use now that means airtel provide some services like a data sms mms calling etc these all are services and all the telecom company take a charge for that second one is we must have to understand types of billing in a telecom in a telecom company okay so types of billing means what types of billing they are used for to create a billing system for customer so their first one is prepaid billing these types of billing are work such a way where subscriber pay in advance and once the payment have been done or received by the telecom service operator they will start the services to the subscriber here the term subscriber means you and me and your family and your friends and your neighbor are a subscriber they are, are using airtel and jio and uh, vodafone what the types of services they have uh, choose for so you are a subscriber to so when you are going to pay that means you must have to pay pre paid paid before then you are able to use the services of particular company okay this is called pre paid pre paid customer usually pay in real time what does it mean real time here that means online okay so pre paid customer means like uh, you are a pre paid customer you must have to pay first that means uh, example when you are going to recharge with the help of your phone or a particular application like a google pay and phone pay so you must have to pay to the telecom company then they have sent back the services to your phone then you are able to use the internet data sms call etc okay this is called real time there will be no generations of bill or invoice in the telecom billing that means there is a no any invoice and bills are generated physically like a, a receipt the billing and the invoice are generated digitally in the form of sms when you are going to recharge from any side the successful recharge hit back to your phone in the form of sms that you understand the recharge has been successful and the services has been already provided to you when you have recharge done second one is post pay billing it is the totally opposite of pre paid here use the services first on the base of comply by the company what types of services they have set on the base of monthly yearly half yearly and 10 yearly then he will hit the charge for you or take a rental charge on the services what you have used suppose a company or a particular office are using high speed internet so on the base of internet how many data have consumed by a particular company on the base of monthly and yearly and half yearly this company will be going to pay for the her telecom company what types of service they are using and from which company the service they are using so this is called post pay billing okay third one is convergent billing okay so i have already told you a office a particular office using only internet services might be i'm not uh, fix this uh, a statement i'm just giving a instance for you suppose a particular company using only internet but a normal people like you and me and your family using internet voice sms as well this all three services together so convergent billing means all three services charge has been applied on you integrated this is called convergent billing that means you are going to recharge for 799 499 
and three service will provide for you like a uh, one GB data per day, calling free for 45 days and 1000 SMS for 45 days. All right. This is called convergent billing because there is a three different charge has been applied for you like uh, air internet, voice and SMS. This is called convergent. What happened in interconnect billing and what is interconnect billing? Suppose you are a user of uh, Airtel and Jio and you are trying to call in from India to America and uh, India to Brazil and Oman to Belgium, any place in the country. So there is a high rate charge applied on you because of international call. So what happened? Airtel will take 30% of charge per minute you are calling and 60% charge they must have to pay to their third party company because of Airtel trying to connect with America with the help of different satellite. So that is called interconnecting billing. The 60% will charge applied on you per minute will goes to third party operators. This is called interconnect billing. Let me explain uh, the second example for you. Suppose you are calling from Belgium to Russia. Okay. So there is a no any network medium between them to connect. So what happened there? In a Belgium, there is a ABC network operators and in Russia, there is a LKM network operators. They are very different, but there should be a some medium to connect to each other. That is called third party billing system where when Russia trying to call to Belgium, Russian must have to pay some extra money for those third party operators. If Belgium trying to call in to Russia, Belgium must have to pay 60% per minute to third party operators. So this is interconnect billing. That means 5 rupees per minute, 10 rupees per minute will charge applied on you when you are trying to call from India to America or India to Russia. So 3 and 4 rupees charge will take air by Airtel and the 6 and 7 rupees or uh, whatever the left percentage are there are taken by third party billing system that means third party network operator and network provider. So that is called interconnect billing. way of payment in telecom billing that means at least there is a two types of way of payment or method of payment in telecom billing like a rental charge and the second one is uses charge let me try to explain about with a beautiful example about a rental charges Suppose you are taking the services of SMS and there is a already system has been applied by Airtel that per SMS they will charge applied on you one rupee per SMS. Either you are sending a one single character or either you are sending less than 50 character. So this is a rental charge either you send a one character or less than 50 character they will charge one rupee only second example is VOIP phone that means either you are using or not monthly of a geo VOIP phone or receiver there is a rental charge applied for you that means you must have to pay 300 per month for VIP services either you are using or calling or not okay second is what is usage charge suppose you are using per day 400 500 MB data on internet and other social network and Jio and Airtel provide for 1.5 GB data per day. So what types of data you have been used, those will be show you that you have a used only 
400 and 500 MB in a 1.5 GB. The same is called if you are if you have a calling for 40 second and 1 minute and 2 minutes, it will show only 1 and 2 minutes only and the charge may be applied upon you for 1 minute and 2 minutes only not for entire 1 hour. Okay? So this is usage charge. In the old time, there is a sum different facilities was there like a call rate cutter such apply uh, such plans are come for a users if you are uh, going to the charge of 49 your call rate will be very cut down to 1.2 or 1.5 passe per minute per uh, second something something like so this is a call usage charge this facility has been terminated right now and the unlimited facilities has been introduced by the different telecom operators Hope you understand this all things because uh, we are very near to discuss about the online charging system. So uh, we must have to understand the billing and the types of billing and the payment method. So guys, uh, hope you don't have any doubt even yet about those I have already explained. So this is the architecture of online charging system. So we are going to discuss about each and every nodes in these videos as well in the second paragraph. So when you will understand completely these all nodes, how actually the task and operations are there for their particular nodes, then you can easily understand how online charging system work internally. So uh, in the technical term, what is the online charging system is, okay. So online charging system OCS is a system or charging engine is a software platform that means online charging system is a system this is a correct answer and online charging system is a charging engine this is a also correct answer and online charging system is a software this is also a correct answer because the software is consist of uh, some different nodes there already logic gates has been applied and the electrical si electricity are run amongst them that is called a set of rules so it is the online charging system which is called a software or charging engine and is a system so what is the functionality that means allow a communication that means online charging system create a communication environment between user to machine and machine to user user to machine and machine to user that means there is a something mediator platform which allow to communicate one person to second person okay suppose we are going for a charge for 200 300 this online charging system create an environment whereby you can easily search your phone number search your operators and see your all the plans that has been provided and that has been provided for a particular mobile number okay so with the help of online charging system this all things are happen so it's allow a communication service provider to charge their customer in the real time based on service uses that means online charging system allow a communication and provide a system where they charge for you what types of services you used okay in a real time that means if you are going to use uh, a recharge of uh, 249 so there is a some online charging system with the help of you can easily get the services back way before you paid for the operators okay what is the functionality of online charging system that means you must have to understand first of all the die with the help of diagram then i will explain this all paragraph so this is a phone pay app application phone pay dashboard here is the mobile recharge system is available when you are going to click on that there will be a list of uh, different operators you must have to choose and enter your phone number and the all plans some different and common and specific on your uh, phone number has been assigned will show you that how what types of recharge you have to uh, 
done for a extra benefit so online charting system the functionality is there subscriber can access rate and charge and manage their account in a real time with the online charging system okay what they have a rate and what they have a charge applied by operators and what the service they are providing they can manage account in a real time with the online charging system that means there is a more than 50 hundreds are packages there for recharge like a for a data you must have to recharge for 148 to get back 16 gb data you must have to recharge for international call you must have to recharge only for talk time some recommended uh, packages there plan is there so this is called management allow flexible package offer by operator which package is very best for you which plan is very best for you and what plan you may choose that is called flexible package help operators to provide a new and reliable services that means in the occasion airtel providing some extra benefit for their user like uh, at a sudden they have put some uh, benefit plan for user that if you are going to recharge for 149 you will get some extra benefit like what the validity of this uh, package will be extend to 60 days to 90 days that is 3 month 1 gb data per day will provide and they will some uh, they will give some extra uh, gb like a 2 gb per day and uh, what and uh, instead of a 500 sms they will provide you 1000 sms so this is the extra services added so with the help of online charging system this all facility will show shown on the face on on your interface now we are very nearest to understand the first node like a business manager point in the diagram this is here business manager point so now let's start from business manager point so first of all tell me how you all things are happen when you are going for recharge you have some notice that Uh, you use some third party application and uh, some activities performed by you for a successful recharge so business manager point is what in a diagram this is the location of business manager point so i'm going to explain about business manager point then you can understand all these things here step by step so in a business manager point what is what is the function and what is the activity of uh, business manager point it provide a web service interface just understand this uh, line provide a web service interface web service interface that means a dashboard provided by a business manager point like a uh, this is a interface okay mobile recharge is a interface dth interface electricity interface etc okay and integrated with other third party application that means this all are different interface integrated that are put together in a particular third party application such as a mobile application and web application like a phone pay google pay banking and dop operators operator portal default airtel app jio app etc so here a phone pay is a third party application and there is a business manager point is what this is a business manager point where interface mobile recharge the interface and and electricity and credit card bill payment is interface from different company are integrated here in a third party application okay so with the help of this application you may choose your successful interface what you have to actually made you have to going for recharge then you have to click on mobile application you have for pay the electricity bill you must have to click on electricity bill and these all are a different companies there okay like a insurance bike car health etc this is called interface that are integrated in a particular application this such facility is called business manager point when a user going for recharge they must have to face the business manager point this is very 
necessary this is a very necessary platform for user which may be very easy to make any payment for their operators okay default operator portal is a web service interface okay because there is no any integrated different application or different interface in it rather than a geo app only geo app facilities is there in airtel only airtel app facilities there might be in a future there may be a op operation will be happen but right now we have only this informations about airtel apps and geo app but google pay and phone pay is a third party application where you can easily make a recharge bill pay electricity bill pay gas booking etc happen so this is called a business manager point this facility is called business manager point so what happen in business manager point when a cell phone user 1 and 2 william and joseph has been decided to create or to made a recharge for their own so they must have to entrance to business manager point that means they must have to visit this dashboard for successful recharge then they have to click on mobile recharge okay and they have to select their operators when they are enter their mobile number in uh, business manager point dashboard or means a recharge dashboard this ref this request are goes with through this network any request are goes from a cell phone by a user that is called events just remember what is events any request in the form of data are travel on a network by a user that is called events okay so what happen when the request has been raised we must have to understand home location register so uh, what is home location register is here this is a hla home location register okay home location register is a central subscriber database that contain various information such as a mobile number services whether the number has been ported to another network and similar information okay so central database that means hlr home locator register is a central database where all the informations of users are available to identify i am the user of airtel suppose you have a num input your number in this application for recharge 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 so what will happen they will just flag back a error for you that this number is not exist and this number is not available in my database yeah whatever the error will flag on the set of okay so how this happen when you request for recharge from business manager point this request will goes to the network and received by these two different nodes i will explain it later and this hlr will consist of a database where all the data are available will search this number exist or not all right so this is the hlr home location register has a database where the all four number are a store of a multiple user okay so what happen next we must have to input a valid mobile number or cell num or sim number that means a correct your phone number where you are going for recharge successful you must have to input your correct phone number so what is online charging system online trigger function is there that means this is a ctf charging trigger function a different nodes and connected with ggsn and sgsn let me tell you the charging trigger function charging trigger function is a network node which will generate the charging event based on a network source 
सर्विस और डेटा कंज्यूम बाई अ सब्सक्राइबर डैट मीन्स इफ अ यूजर गोइंग टू सेंड अ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर ऑनलाइन चार्जिंग सिस्टम और एनी एक्टिविटीज ओके सो चार्जिंग ट्रिगर फंक्शन विल रिसीव दिस चार्जिंग ट्रिगर फंक्शन विल रिसीव दिस इवेंट्स इवेंट मीन्स एनी एक्टिविटी हैपन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ सेल फोन आर जनरेटेड दैट इज कॉल्ड इवेंट्स सो दिस चार्जिंग ट्रिगर फंक्शन विल रिसीव द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट यूजर्स सो वॉट हैपन इन इज देयर देर इज अम डिफरेंट नोट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द चार्जिंग ट्रिगर फंक्शन लाइक अ जी जी एस एन एंड एस जी एस एन इट हैज बीन इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन नेटवर्क माइट बी एंड इट इज इंस्टॉल ऑन सेंट्रल हब स्टेशन ओके बहुत आर करेक्ट एंड बहुत आर पॉसिबल सो जी जी एस एन गेटवे जी पी आर एस सपोर्ट नोट वट इज द फंक्शन वेन एनी रिक्वेस्ट आर कम ऑन नेटवर्क बाय द सेल फोन द जी जी एस एन विल रिसीव दिस इवेंट्स ओके रिसीव दिस इवेंट्स गेट वे जी पी आर एस सपोर्ट नोट कन्वर्ट द इनकमिंग डेटा ट्रैफिक कमिंग फ्रॉम द मोबाइल यूजर दिस will convert the incoming data from user that means it is going with the help of a particular network might be some different networks are available here okay and some cell phone is there suppose this is a, a cell phone and when a user send a request when a user send a request from their cell phone to this uh, network this network will directly send the information to this nodes and what this node will be do gprs gateway gprs support node convert the incoming data traffic in traffic coming from the mobile user okay this will convert with the help of through the service gateway support node and forward it to the relevant network and vice versa that means with the help of this node this ggsn will convert the all information all the events from different network and just pass to the charging trigger function all right might be uh, there is a GGSN and SGSN will be installed on network. Each and every network has a different GGSN and SGSN. Okay. So GGSN and SGSN will pass the all events to charging trigger function. And what will happen through charging trigger function? It is it will generate a charging event based on network source. And what types of a user are requesting for this charging trigger function will generate it. okay so next is next is what what happen after charging trigger function charging trigger function send the request to online charging function suppose William and Joseph are trying to recharge for 149 and 549 so this request will start from business manager point and this will goes on the nearest network and this network has been already installed ggsn and sgsn will receive this all request and pass to the ctf charging trigger function charging trigger function will generate your request and pass to the online charging function okay so what online charging system work with it is a part of online charging system which perform all the operation between different nodes that means suppose you have a request for recharge 
this charging trigger function will pass the online charging function and this online charging function will pass the RF okay rating function so what happened the next rating function is here what is the functionality of rating function it determines the cost of service used according to the tariff defined by a network operator okay like a per second charge at call rate per kb data when you use internet service per sms charge at one sms per mms charge at one mms okay downloading and uploading media etc so all charge are defined it is work like a calculator okay suppose the price of one mango is 5 rupees if you are going to take 1 2 3 4 5 6 the charge will be multiplied let me tell you a very easiest example for you to explain how charging trigger function sorry uh, rating function is work when a user request for a recharge suppose job joseph has planned for recharge for 350 and william has recharged for 890 okay so what happened they are already define some plans by a different operator that means airtel and jio and uh, charter if you are going for recharge for 350 means you are going to pay the money to airtel operators 350 so you will get the call for 24 days this is the call service and data service 1.5 gb data will provide by airtel company that means airtel operators and the what happen in a sms sms have been provide 50 okay so when you are going for a charge 350 the service will provide by the network operators or airtel will be 24 days for call 1.5 gb data and 50 sms suppose william have decide to recharge for 890 so on the plan of 890 call rate will provide for 74 days 2 gb data and 200 sms so this all plans are available on the dashboard of mobile recharge business manager point where you can easily create a recharge environment so this request are directly come to the rating function rating function is a nodes which has been already set the data call rate and sms provided by a airtel operator when the user request for 350 recharge the rating function will calculate and evaluate the data for you and sms and data as well how many data they have to send you how many call facilities they have to send you and how many sms they have to send you these all facility and these all services will provide for you in a rating function so what happen after rating function will decide for you when you are going for a charge for 350 and 890 there is a billing system process all the cdr to create some final output which can be invoice for customer like a customer data record the charging data record is there this rating function will send to billing system and billing system will generate the all facilities all requested for a user and send back to your mobile phone in the form of sms like this congratulation your 148 recharge offer you free 27 days for what 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 ever okay so this is a sms 
that when you are going to recharge and this completion of successful recharge a SMS hit to your phone that you have successful done the recharge that is called invoice and billing system so here is rating functions has already defined I have already tell you what rating function is now ABMF we must have to understand what is it account balance management function is what account balance management function is store and update the amount of credit on your account that means you have a made a successful recharge and the service has been started on your phone so are you able to see or not so are you able to see this successful your recharge and uh, data and the balance available in your account so this account man balance management function help to you help for you to see all the data available in your phone okay like a hold the subscriber account your already accounts have been created in a account balance management function second is control the addition and deduction of amount suppose you have a 1 GB data in your account and you have a not even started to use internet yet so when you are going to uh, on your data your internet surfing has started and after one hour you are able to see your your uh, 1 GB data has been deducted a particular amount that you have uh, used and some are left that means account balance management function node is due for you what control the addition or deductions of amount but how many data you are using per day they will control they will add and they will deduct from account how many call rate and sms has been sent over you per day so this all things are happen with the help of account balance management function abmf perform the credit reservation of an account when you are going for the charge for uh, talk time this all talk time will available in your account and the account balance management function will show you and manage it all manage it all when you are going to make a call yeah we are when you are going to make a miss call and someone have received your uh, call while you are uh, hitting a miss call for not for calling purpose so uh, one or two second of uh, call rate has been cut for you because you have already two second call rate has cut because they receive your call so this all informations and activities are managed by account balance management function multiple subscriber can be connected in account balance management function because it is a very big space is there and all users have a separate account in the account balance management function manage dynamic charging that means suppose you have a recharge for 350 350 and the data was provided by a network operator 1.5 GB only and you have already consumed in a 10 days there is a 14 days left more for in this package and but you have uh, also require more data so you have to recharge for extra data like a uh, 150 148 200 for 6 GB 10 GB etc so on the same package this data will provide to you on the same tariff plan when the product will be in this tariff plan will be in after 40 days data will lost until you will not used completely before 14 days so this is called dynamic this is called dynamic recharge okay manage dynamic charging that means same okay so this is the dynamic charging so hope you understand account balance management function abmf what to do and what is the function and the rating function decide how many call rate will for you let me uh, tell you some uh, different example about rating function suppose in a dashboard we have just navigate to the phone pay and you have to recharge for one year 
so click on recharge uh, mobile recharge dashboard that means uh, this is the interface and you input your phone number and when we are going to request for this this request will goes to the network and gds and, S and sgsn will receive this sent to the charging trigger function charging trigger function will request to online charging function and online charging function will request to rating function so what happened in rating function suppose we have to recharge for 1000 okay so network operator has already said there if a person are coming for 1000 recharge for means uh, rupee uh, 1000 rupees for recharge i will provide 500 sorry i will provide 4 month call facilities 2 gb data per day and 1000 sms so this facility will available for you in the form of interface and when you are going for recharge for 1000 this request will goes for directly in a, this way like a blue line gsn and sgsn will receive the request ctf online charging trigger function will receive and generate what is the request and what is the request for come this will directly hit to the online online charging function if the request is for different this will goes from other pipeline and it, it will be for online charging function so the request will come here and the rating function will decide and set the all service in such a way rating function will provide four month call facilities after four month it will, it will be automatically in 2 gb data per day and 1000 sms okay so this is online charging system work together so this rating function will come to billing and the billing will generate and send the services to you when the receive your payment so what is the NAC uh, service control point to do it is a central database which provide the call access and call control function okay this one is provide the call services means plan are set here call facilities are work between this processor general front end processor what to do is pro it provide two facilities sms and mmsc and smssc short messaging service center and multimedia service center that means when the billing system is generated this all hit the gfep nodes where all the sms are generated for you and hit your phone like this that the recharge has been successful done okay so this is the duty of gfep where all the sms and mms are created for you okay so this is a online charging system that uh, you have already uh, knows very well in this video now what happened the next is have to understand cdr so online charging system has been done here and uh, now second one is we have to understand cdr and uh, cdf and cgf CDR actually charging data record is not a note it is the information okay when online charging function that means a uh, charging trigger function request you yeah, take a request or generate the events from a user so it will generate a CDR charging data records in a telecom domain a formatted collections of information about a chargeable telecommunication events like a call duration amount of data transfer suppose charging data record is a information that are collected in a system 
per day how many data are used how many calls are used and how many sms you have sent this all are recorded in a database in a database in the form of charging data record this charging re data record are used for billing that means in a monthly suppose in a one day you have a used a 1 gb data in two days you have a used a 800 mb data in three days you have a used 1.5 gb data and so on it will be complete of one month so charging data record is what this is information that are used by you per day monthly okay 31 days or 30 days so this data are used for billing finally they will collect all the charges used in a monthly per day okay a telecom provide transfer from time to time in order to send a bill to their user using FTP protocol and GTP protocol this is a system and this is a mechanism technical term is there with the help of this medium data are transfer and store in a particular nodes in which nodes here is there this is CDF so what CDF done for you charging data function is responsible for generating CDR those have already discussed above CDR charging data record responsible for charging data function generates CDR charging data record they generate charging data record based on event received by CTF and transfer them to CGF per day how many events are come by a particular user on an internet in the form of call rate data SMS this is called events and received by charging data function and generate a CDR charging data record and send to this node okay this will uh, come to here and uh, send over the CTF and the CTF will send over here CDF CDF will generate CDR customer a charging data record and send to the CGF now charging gateway functions what do here responsible for persistence storage of a CDR charging data record and some pre-processing and errors are checking and also collect CDR from many CDF and send them to the billing system that means a CGF do for multiple work like a multiple CDF charging data function send charging data record to a particular central hub CGF charging gateway function this this charging gateway function a store all different CDF of a particular user and send for the billing system here this billing system will generate okay, what types of service they are using and how many data you have a consumed and in a monthly on the base of monthly they will create a billing that like a electricity bill per month a person come to you and check your meter and create an invoice for you that uh, monthly the electricity bill is like that okay the same things happen here so this is called offline charging system right now I am talking about the CDF and CGF this is work for offline charging system and this is for online charging system those I have already tell you so this is a prepaid areas and this is a postpaid area might be this will be installed on different node this will be installed on different station this, this will be installed on uh, uh, different different companies and uh, this will be installed on different network operators as well so I have made a concise diagram to, uh, to make you understand very easily so this is the function of charging gateway function okay so when the bill is generated so this bill are sent over the particular user those are using the services all right you are a user of airtel you also be a like a postpaid user and prepaid user whatever you choose 
so when uh, the online charging system work the billing generated with the help of this uh, facility with this node sms and mms okay so nothing is left here to understand more online charging system has been completed and uh, if you have uh, any queries regarding this you just hit me a comment on my videos and what you did not understand what the point you did not get just tell me i will clear you with the help of a textual format okay so this video was requested for some guys that he want to understand in a english subtitle title so that's why i make a, this video for you so just uh, watch this video repeat and repeat then you will easily understand what online charging system is okay so business manager point is in your hand like a phone pay and google pay is a good example of business manager point with the help of this you are make your recharge successful and these all facilities are reflect upon different nodes as per the comply okay so watch this video again or like my videos and subscribe my channel and just comment how you feel how uh, the video is uh, for you and uh, it's times up okay have a nice day jai hind